All right, in this video, I'm just going to have a look at 1110 uh, of the HSE workbook, uh, the grade 10 workbook. It's a one point perspective drawing that we're going to have a look at here. Um, you'll see over here, I have tried to move all of this information across to directly below the top view over there. So I've got my front view directly below the top view. You'll see that I drew two dark lines in there and then the rest I've done in hidden detail. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that hidden detail. Um, all right, what I need to look at is going about doing this roof. You'll see that I did the construction line going right up to the apex of that roof, right up to the apex of the roof. Please make sure that you do that so that you have that ridge line for the roof that's going to happen further back over there. Okay. Um, over here, you can see that the edge of the roof is touching that picture plane. So straight away, I can draw in the edge of that roof going up to there. And I can draw in the edge of the roof going up to here. Right, once I've got that, I can then also draw in the tower part going up over here. Tower part going up over here. And uh, there is also a line, a very important line over there, showing me that I've got an angle between these two surfaces, the roof and the little tower. Okay, that means that this part over here is going back. How do I go back with this? Well, I've got my stationary point over here, SP, and that needs to go back. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see my SP. SP is over here means that I'm looking across at the object over here and I'm going to be able to see lines going back to a vanishing point. How do I get the vanishing point? I need to take a ruler uh, and a set square, draw a line 90 degrees up to the horizon line and I get my vanishing point on my horizon line. You can see that the horizon line, HL, is above the object, which means that I can see the top of the roof. Um, and that is very, very important. I'm just going to take lines going back from the top of this roof over here to the vanishing point. Okay, from the apex of this little tower piece. Right, once I've got that, I can also take a line going back from the top of the tower. Okay. And with that, I can then find the apex of the actual little roof, of the um, little tower. Right, there's the apex. How do I get that apex down onto my drawing? I take a line going from the apex down to the picture plane. I drop that down at 90 degrees down onto the apex over there. And once I've got that point over there, I can now draw a line going from the corner of the tower to the apex and from the corner of the tower to the apex. Right. That tower has got a depth to it. So let's just have a look at how do I get that point? Same story. I take a line going from the corner of that tower, going down to the picture plane, drop that down onto that line coming out, and I can draw in that little line over there. Once I've got that in place, I can draw a line going from the apex of the tower, going to that corner, and I can draw a line coming down over here, but I don't know how deep I need to draw that line, so I'm going to draw it in construction line. Right, there's the corner of where the roof and the tower meet. I'm going to take a line going back from there to the vanishing point, and you can see how that links up beautifully over there, and I can then finish off my little tower. What you need to recognize here is, um, I don't have any dark lines over there, but I do need this little apex part in here so that I can find the ridge line of the roof. Right, let's have a look at this roof. You can see 
over here. Let's just move this down. Ridge line of the roof is going back to a certain point over there. So what do I need to do? I'm going to take that ridge line of the roof going back from the apex of that roof all the way back to VP. Note where it's starting, going back. I'm going to be able to find that point over there on that ridge line by taking it down to the stationary point, touches the picture plane, drop that down onto the ridge line of the roof, and I can draw in the ridge line of the roof going to that point. There we go, there's the ridge line of the roof. Okay, I'm going to take a, a line going back over here for the edge of the roof and down at the bottom for the um, edge of the bottom of the wall. Let's do those two lines. Line for the edge of the roof, going back over there, and a line for the bottom of the wall. Let me do that in green, going back over here. Right, how far back do I go with that wall? Well, that's easy enough. I take a line coming down from from there to the, whoops, let's just get that sorted out. Make sure that you work accurately here. And I moved again. There we go, and I'll get it eventually. There we go. I've got the construction lines accurately drawn, and I can now drop a line vertically down, and I have the length of that wall over there. I can now draw that in. There we go. And I can draw that in. Okay. Drop a line going down over there. Okay, uh, you'd sort of expect that I'd have a line going from there up to the top of the roof, but the roof is much further back. You can see that there's no line over there, but I do have a line that needs to come across over here. Uh, for the edge of the roof and the edge of the wall. Let's have a look, how do I get that? Um, quite important, you'll note over here, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I drew in that little portion of the church's side, okay? And at the end of the day, I need to transfer that back onto my view over there. Right, I'm just going to do that quickly. Let's just zoom out. If you guys can see this. Right, from this little chunk over here, I'm going to take those lines going back to the VP over there. So I take a line going back from the corner over there, going back to VP. I'm going to take a line going back from the corner over here, going back to VP. And I can now say, all right, uh, where do I get that point over there from? Well, I just need to get that down to stationary point quickly. Take that down to stationary point. Drop that down onto my view over here. And I can now draw in a little dark line going over there. That should, if I've worked neatly and accurately, link up perfectly with that corner over there and it's going horizontal. Why? Because it's going horizontal over there. And this point and that point need to be linked up because it's going at a funny angle. The same angle as that, just further back. There we go. I can draw that in over there. Once I've got that, well, I've got this little wall going further back over there. How do I get that? I just need to drop a line coming down from that back corner over there onto the picture plane. Drop it down onto the picture plane over here. And I can now draw in that line and that line going back to the VP. I can draw in a line going up to there. And I can see that the edge of the roof over here, that needs to go up to the point that I found earlier for the top of the roof ridge. There we go. Um, I've got a 
line that's missing over here. So I'm going to take a line going back over there to the VP. There we go, going back to the VP. Let's have a look at that. I can draw in that part, no problem. Let's just have a look and see whether I can see that from where I am. I'm going to take a line going from that back corner over there all the way down to the picture plane. I'm going to drop that down onto my view over here. And you can see that it would link up with this line that I drew back over here. Okay, will I be able to see a little piece of line? Absolutely, you can see that there's an intersection. I'm not going to be able to see this first little section over there, but that part over there, so I'm not going to be able to see that little piece because it's behind the top of the, the tower, and I can see that part over there going up to the roof. So very important to get that point as well. Once I've got that, I just need to draw the doors. Um, the door at the front over here, that's very easy. I just need to drop some lines down from where the door is. From there and from there. Take a line across for the height of the door. From here, let's just take that across from the height of the door. And I can then draw in my door over there. Draw in the door and draw in the door and draw in the door and I need to draw in the ground floor. There we go. Okay, now in this drawing over here, they didn't show you the thickness of the wall. I just want to do that quickly um, just to give you another little thing that will make this drawing look more realistic. I'm going to put some hidden detail in for the thickness of the of the door. All right, there's the thickness of my door. I'm just going to make it a about uh, five millimeters or so. I'll give it a nice. See the thickness of my door over there? I'm going to take a line going from the corner over there to the picture plane. I'm going to drop a line coming down just do that line coming down over there and now I can take a line from this corner over here going back to the VP and I can draw in the thickness of the door frame by drawing a line going straight up over here right um, you can see that there's uh, there's a gap over here with the thickness of the wall, I need to do the windows. Let's have a look at the windows. I'm also going to give these windows a bit of a thickness as well. So I'm going to do a five millimeter thickness over here. Okay, and there we go, there's the wall. I'm not doing the full wall. Okay, so there it is. Let's find that window. The window height for that window is this story over here. It comes across. Let's do the window height. Comes across to that wall over there. And it should be the same as the door height coming across over there. Take lines going back to the VP over here. Take that back to the VP over there. And I need to find the sides of the window from this line coming down to the picture plane there. A line coming down to the picture plane over there. I'm going to drop that down onto the window over here. And down over there. Right, there's my window frame. And we also need to put the depth of that window in, and I'll show you how to get that, which is very, very easy if you understand where you are standing in this drawing. Right, I want you to think about if you are standing above the window, you're going to be able to see the 
window sill. And if I'm looking from this direction, I'm going to be able to see that corner of the window at the back. So all I need to do is to take a line coming down from that corner over there. From the corner over there. Dropping that down over here. And if I take a line horizontal, note that little line over there is going horizontal. So from that corner over there, I take a line out horizontal. I take a line going up. And then I come along and I line this VP up with that corner over there. And I have a line coming out like that. And you have the thickness of the windowsill and that back wall over there. Got another little window over there. That's easy enough. I'm going to um, find the height of that window. How do I do that? I'll take that over here. I'm going to just do this in orange. It's coming across from there to this wall over here. Comes out from there all the way to the wall over there. That goes back to the VP over there and back to the VP and stops on that corner of the wall. Goes back to the VP and stops on that corner of the wall. I'm going to take that back to horizontal and horizontal. All right. And now I can take those two points over there, take those down to the SP. There we go down to the SP, down to the SP, drop that down over here, and across, take that to the SP over there, and there's my little window at the back there. Note these lines, like horizontal and horizontal, reason being, well, that line over there is horizontal. These lines are perfectly vertical. That's vertical. I think the only trick with this is getting the height. From there, take it across to that corner. From there, take it across to that corner. From there, take it horizontal. Same story over there. There, there, there. Once you've got that, well, what's the thickness of this wall? Well, where am I standing? I'm standing over here. If I've got the thickness of the wall, I'm just going to draw it in over there. Right, there's the thickness of the wall for the window. I'm going to be able to see that back corner over there because I'm standing over here looking across at it from here. Going to take a line coming from that back corner to the picture plane. I'm going to drop that line down from the picture plane. Okay. From there, I can take a line going back to the vanishing point. Let's just zoom in over here so you can see this idea. I've just drawn this green line coming down over here from the picture plane. I'm going to draw a line going back to the vanishing point now. Going just squeaking back to that green line. I can draw a line going vertically over there. And I can draw a line going across horizontal. Why would it be horizontal? Well, if you look at the drawing, at the top over here, whoops, that line over there is horizontal. Therefore, that line over there must be horizontal. And that's basically the drawing. I hope that helped.